Hey guys, it's Aaron. Who wants a scrapbook? Okay, not normal scrapbooking, but scrapbooks inside a layout. We're gonna take a look at how scrapbooks work and how you can actually customize them. A lot of people see that little tab in, in layout that says scrapbooks and they know that they go over there, they have some stuff they can pull out and put on the drawing. Most people don't realize just how customizable and helpful scrapbooks really are. So we're gonna take a look at not only modifying the default scrapbooks that come with layout, but how to create your own pretty quickly and easily. So let's hop in. All right, over here on the right, I have my scrapbook open, just a blank document right now. And the way scrapbooks work is if I go into one of these scrapbooks, so here I have TV Contemporary, and below that I have a bunch of, of uh, listed items, drawing references, line weights, sections and elevations, column grid, and site graphics. If I look at drawing references, I can take one of these, click on it, and then just drop it into the drawing, like a stamp. All that really is is just creating a layout thing. So it's basically just kind of like a copy and paste something that I'd use a lot. If I ever wanted to make changes to it, so say uh, my column grid, I like this, but I don't like these dot dash line type. I just want dotted lines. I can change that. So if I select the scrapbook I want to modify and click edit, it's going to open that up. Now here's the, this is the special thing. This is the secret behind scrapbooks. Scrapbooks are just layout files. So if I look at it right here, if I look, this is called tb-contemporary. Look at the name of the layout file, tb-contemporary. If I look at the different sections below that, drawing reference, line weights, sections and elevations, column grids, and site graphics, and then I look at the pages in this layout file, they're the same. So all a scrapbook is showing is the name of the file, and then below that, the pages, and that's actually exactly, so if I look at my uh, column grid, that's exactly the same thing. So if I wanted to make changes, so if I wanted to grab uh, these lines, I want to come in here, I'm going to go grab this line and I want to change that to a dotted line rather than the dot dash. All I have to do is select that geometry, make the change, and it's going to change there. Now, obviously, I changed that. It didn't show up immediately. It's not like an active uh, connection. So to change this, I'd have to go to File and hit Save. Now, one thing I want to point out right now, you see it still didn't change over there. What I'm editing right now is a default scrapbook. So this is one that is shipped with SketchUp. And that has a little bit of some some clout that comes with that. You can't actually modify a default scrapbook. It is part of the program. What will happen if you do make changes like that, um, it, it is still possible to make changes, but what will happen is you'll get this new TB Contemporary 2. So if I go into TB Contemporary 2 now and I look at in there, my column grid, I'll see here is my grid lines that I set up. I'm gonna go ahead and close this one and here's my, where I'm messing around. So now I can actually grab these, bring them in and drop them on and I get that dash line that I was looking for. So that's one thing to note is if you're gonna modify defaults, you're gonna get copies, not actually edit this. But you can create your own scrapbooks from scratch. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close this one that we're, uh, we're messing with, don't save that one. And I'm just gonna say, I wanna create a brand new one. So I'm gonna go to File, hit New, and just start a brand new page. Nothing special about it. I'm gonna come into this page now, I'm gonna put in a couple, I'm gonna say that what I want is, I drop rectangles onto my drawings a lot. So I'm gonna create a scrapbook that is a bunch of rectangles. In fact, I don't just do rectangles. Sometimes I do circles because I'm a creative guy. So I'm gonna add a new page. I'm gonna grab my circle tool, make a big circle, a slightly smaller circle, something smaller than that, and then a teeny tiny circle over here at the side. So I have two pages now. Page one is rectangles, two pages circles. In fact, I'm gonna name it that. So I'm gonna come over to my pages, right click rename, call this one rectangles. Oop, no spell checker in page names. And then the second one, rename to circles. Now, if I want this to show up in my scrapbook, what I need to do is go to file and rather than just save this as a layout file, I wanna save it as a scrapbook. We're gonna get some special UI that's gonna come up and ask us what's the name of this scrapbook. I'm gonna call it 
my shapes and it's going to automatically save it where scrapbooks go. So in this SketchUp 2019 folder, layout, scrapbooks. And by putting a layout file into this scrapbooks folder, it automatically shows up as my scrapbooks over here. So if you have a layout file already created, you don't have to open it, file, save as scrapbook. You could actually just drop it right into the scrapbooks folder. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Now, when I did that, look what I already have. Here's my shapes. And let's make this less confusing. I'm going to go ahead and close that, file new. I'm going to be hitting file new a lot here. Go ahead and open a blank one again. I'm going to go over here, go to my shapes. Oh, look at that. Now all I have is this group. I can just bring that group in and set it right on my drawing. Pretty cool, just like the rest of them. Now, a lot of people work with existing geometry. So you may work off of an old CAD program or something like that where you already have a bunch of geometry created symbols, text, uh, images of people, whatever it is. You may already have that. So rather than start from scratch and redraw all that in layout, we can import the geometry and then use it as part of a scrapbook. So let's look at how to do that. I'm going to go ahead and close this and I'm going to edit my My Shape scrapbook again. All right, so here's my two pages, circles, rectangles. I'm going to create a new page. Call it page three for now. And I'm going to go file and insert some existing geometry. So I have this stars.dwg file. You guys will never guess what's in here. I'm going to go ahead and open that. And I'm going to import it. It was created in the proper paper space. And then it pulls that geometry in. Now, we're not done. At this point, there is a little bit of work to be done. So one thing you can tell is all my other pages had these white ones, these white shapes. This is a black shapes. Not bad, but uh, if I wanted to match what I had going on over here, I want to make some changes. The other thing is the grouping. Depending on how you exported your DWG, you may get some weird grouping. So in this case, I have it in a group. If I double click, I'm another group. Inside that, there's my actual geometry. So what that's going to do is if I was to make this part of my scrapbook, when I went and grabbed over here, it would always import all of this geometry all the time. So first thing I'm going to do is going to right click and say ungroup. I'll take me out. One more. Ungroup. That's going to get me down to this geometry. Now I want to make some changes to each of these four. Oops, I got another, another group in there somewhere. So I want to take these four. Look what I have here. Here I have a whole nother group. Again, this all depends on how you exported your geometry. So right here I have one set of groups that is my fill. And then up here I have a whole nother set of groups that are my strokes. So I can actually get rid of my fill. We don't need these. And I take this group and I'm gonna have to do some more exploding again or ungrouping. I'm gonna ungroup. And that brought me down to base geometry. So now I can real quickly just grab this star, make that into a group. I forgot where make group was for a second there. Right click, make group make group and make group. Obviously this would be a lot easier if I had just imported one star and scaled it right in layout, but I want to show you realistically what might that look like if you import it. All right, so now that that is actually saved, I'm going to go ahead and rename my page to stars. Whoa, I got really excited and typed in all caps there. Stars, go to file and save as scrapbook again. I'm going to overwrite the existing file by hitting save. It's going to say, are you sure you want to replace it? I do want to replace it. All right. And then we'll go ahead and close out of there. Start another brand new document. Maybe this will be the last one we save. Now I can come over here and grab this geometry and put it right onto my drawing, just like I did with the shapes I created inside of Layout Natively. So hopefully you like that. Hopefully that took away a little bit of mystique or maybe scariness about scrapbooks. They're actually very cool, very easy to use, and really easy to set up. Um, if you did like that, go ahead and click like down below and subscribe if you want to see next time a video comes out. We do a couple videos a week around here and you'll be notified if you're a subscriber. Most importantly, 
let us know what you thought in the comments. If you have ideas for other videos, that sort of thing, let us know that too. We like making these videos a lot, but we like making them a lot more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.